Well, hello everybody, what's new in the whole universe? I'm out of my shower room, bathroom, and I'm a little bit of wet, my hair is uh, of this nature and style, and today we're gonna talk about languages. <laughs> <laughs> nice in the beginning of this video <laughs> and uh, languages that I create and uh, the types of languages if you want to create your own. It will be kind of my insights and at the same time it will be discussion with you in this discourse, okay? First thing that I want to see, uh, want to say, it is uh, that uh, today I was googling different languages, especially in a game of World Warcraft. How I was interested in? I was uh, in shower and I opened my phone and opened the music uh, from World of Warcraft game. And uh, I, I played this game, it is uh, kind of uh, Lord of the Rings, but uh, something modern game, okay? And uh, I can uh, recommend to play this game if you want, if you don't want, it's okay. It I will tell you what this uh, game about, it is uh, like dwarves, worgens, also elves, uh, and uh, this type of fantasy nature. And I want to accent on one thing, and I want to stress on one thing, it means... Uh, I, I want to speak about music. While I was in shower, I listened to the music from this game. And I noticed that they were singing in their language. Like... And uh, so, something like this. It sounds more like anime opening a Japanese uh, cartoon art. But... For me, it was uh, really something interesting, and I started to think, hmm, it will be nice to write my own song in, uh, in my own language. And uh, I started uh, to think about it, how to do this, I started to sing in my, uh, in my soul, and then I decided to go to the computer and uh, Google the World Warcraft game songs, lyrics of this. Sorry for maybe a so long story, okay? And uh, I, I, will, I will tell you right now. I was uh, googling lyrics of the song in Invincible, Invincible from uh, World of Warcraft. And then I found and uh, it is all with uh, sounds. Sounds of uh, Hello Ray or uh, uh, something, <laughs> something like this, and it was, uh, it is uh, right now uh, creepy <laughs> sounds. But you understand, understand these lyrics, and uh, no, you maybe don't understand them, but uh, you know what I'm speaking maybe about. And uh, I started to look at the lyrics and started to understand. Hmm, what's the language? And I found that this is a language of common common language of this universe, of World of Warcraft. And then I started to Google languages of World of Warcraft and found that uh, we have different languages, common languages, also peoples, hu human people, uh, humans uh, speak on uh, common language and also some, some races speak in this hu in this common language too. But elves speak on Darnassian, also Taurans, Taurans it is uh, mammals, uh, mammals uh, people look like uh, people, they speak in their language, and also we have Draenei's, they speak on their, and uh, dwarves speak on dwarves, and common language too, and it's okay. What I was interested more about it is how they are written. And I started to Google languages, uh, this Darnassian, this uh, Elvish, also something dwar Dwarf's language, and also Taurenic language, and then I, I found interesting thing, that some languages look like curves, Yes, it is like Elvish from Lord of the Rings by Tolkien, and uh, they look, I don't know, do I have it here or not? Maybe I have runes, the Tenguar. It is one more language, yes, it is from, the, from this. And uh, maybe we'll find something more, but I don't see this, uh, I don't see them. Okay, 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 okay. And uh, you understand that different uh, languages, uh, they look different. And elf, elvish, so like flowy, and so not like uh, impulsive, they look really 
curving like and some of the tauranic tauranic they are mammals and so like we are with uh, the nature and uh, we live in in the halls or maybe we live in the specific like meadows meadows it's a place uh, where where we can find a cow for example yes and they live there and uh, their language looks like pictograms pictogram like it means they are not uh, with curves they are mostly with uh, script it means that they were engraved on something engraved or taped uh, taped in the meaning of uh, that they were using maybe this thing and they were doing it with uh, their hands or maybe they are if they are mammals that they have hooves and they were doing with hooves and uh, they were writing it in this way and it is uh, one interesting thing by the way and they do this on uh, on the wooden places or maybe i don't know in russian language we call it glina glina it is the material of earth earth material but uh, earth of nature pottery pottery you mostly use it in pottery glina is for pottery pottery it is something on the pottery ring you do you know pottery like harry potter but uh, it is pottery master room yes and you can engrave on them and it will be not really super with curved nature it will be really like you are a, an egypt man because egypt man uh, he was doing engraving on on the walls and also sometimes uh, you if you watched uh, redemption shoshank redemption like andy was doing on on the walls of his prison like this way you engrave it not uh, use calligraphic Ah, calligraphic tools. It all depends on tools what uh, these people use. And uh, the same for dwarves. They do these things. But their, their, th their lines, they are more sharp because dwarves for engineers and they know how to do straight lines and so like this way. They do this with their, like, maybe ax axes and hammers. Yes? And uh, it is interesting, super interesting. And I started to think about this uh, and uh, about creating my own languages. I understand that uh, they maybe will be looking like them because we, in our world, uh, we have our imagination and we have all the, but we have specific shapes, yes? And you always, if you will think mostly in this case, like, uh, how to say it? If you will think in this way, in the way of thinking, how to say it? If you will think in a comparing way, then you can compare G.R.R. Tolkien with Harry Potter in some way. Yes? You understand? Because here you have a main hero, and in Harry Potter you have main hero. But they are different, because it is different universes. But some things are the same. They walk the same. They run, maybe, the same. Clothes sometimes the same for wizard from lord of the rings and for wizard in harry potter they have almost the same clothes but 65% uh, same likeness and uh, you understand that if you will look at something in our world you will not find fully fully original yes you can think about it that it's ma a super mega original if you didn't see anything else in my mind i've seen a lot of things and if you are old and wise you maybe have seen a super mega lot of things in this world and if you your memory is long term nice yes and uh, if you remember anything i think that my memory is super nice and powerful by the way and i remember many things and i can compare it inside of my mind maybe my imagination is uh, a good one and i can compare in my imagination it easily and uh, thanks uh, God, thanks uh, Lord, thanks uh, for this world, for uh, for what I have. And uh, I started to think about creating my own language. I have it already. RL is my language and uh, it has uh, 11 letters. I think so. I I have it on my... Uh, on my paper, I created it three months or two, two and a half months ago, 
and uh, it has uh, letters with with non uh, non uh, non this type of letters they this has pronunciation maybe like uh, in russian something like kiray kiray maybe it is more english russian english english <laughs> english russians russianish it is so uh, i have I have there my own uh, like letters. Letters are written by specific symbols that I created and uh, we write symbols. It is uh, for example this symbol I have also I have uh, this <laughs> like cu curve of uh, of the moon yes and two dots also i have uh, this lollipop type thing like uh, stick and plus uh, the spiral on on the higher thing i have uh, 11 i think or 11 or 13 i think 11 i need to look at uh, the yes 11 11 i think and uh, they sound like key key is this one one symbol Ray is another. Key Ray is this connection of them. Also, I have Asht. Acht. Asht. Asht. Asht, I think. Asht. Key Ray Asht. Key Ray Asht. It will be one more so uh, one more word or Asht. Asht Key Ray or Kiki or Ray Key or Ray Ryu. Ryu is one more. Ryu. Ray. Ray. I think it will be better Ray. Ryu. Ray. Ryu Ray. We have the different. Ryu Ray. Ryu Ray. I don't know. I'm creator and I didn't finish it. And I'm right now on my way of creating this. And I created kind of 20 different words. And I understand that creating words is something easy. You only, you only create a sound of them and how they are written, and then you kind of guess what it means in your own language, in your own feeling, how it feels. Yes? And uh, it's okay that uh, I created it, and uh, I will go forward, and I want to continue it for my uh, university work, because uh, till the 19th of May, or even earlier, it will be better even to... To have it tomorrow or even at this evening because right now I have 12 uh, 14 p.m. of Moscow time and uh, I, it means that I will have eight more hours of doings and I can fin finish it so we've talked uh, talked about it also need great history of these languages and uh, by learning social linguistics in my university I can uh, learn about it more in some common words how it is made. I can guess it, by the way, inside of my imagination. My imagination is super nice. And I want to say thank you to all things. I don't know. I think that we are all geniuses and our imagination is super powerful. Really? I think so. Your, your imagination is super great. Your imagination is amazing. Your imagination is super powerful and wide. I believe in it. I believe in you, my man. And... Uh, I believe in myself too, I think, I think so, I believe, yes, I'm confident in it. And uh, our imagination can create anything, why do we... <laughs> I, I think some, sometimes to myself, that why do we sometimes learn something? Yes, to communicate with people, and that's all. <laughs> but okay, we are we're living in society, I don't want to make you like unsocial person... Uh... <laughs> A, a social person who who de don't listen to anyone else and uh, something like this, <laughs> yes. And uh, I hope you understand that uh, we can create it inside of our imagination. And maybe some people don't believe in us in themselves. I don't know, because I am really inside of my mind to think that uh, my imagination can work anywhere. And all what uh, makes it uh, working, it is efforts. Like when I write on my keyboard, also I was googling today one interesting geek thing. I was googling interesting, I googled 
interesting and non-common types of or t something synonyms you can use non-common types of uh, of keyboards and then i found weird weird keyboards that named but i think it is not weird it is really interesting and some people think that they are weird but maybe i input inside of the weird something not really nice i will google right now what does it mean suggesting something supernatural unearthly weird connected with fate a personal destiny destiny said one moment uncanny early unnatural pre one moment, I need to translate it to Russian language. Weird and uh, translating. It is uh, okay. I I want to call it supernatural. Supernatural, it will be better because in Russian we call it странный, and for странный, some people use uh, or maybe I think so for. For a word strany in the Russian language, we use a kind of not really nice mini. I will Google right now. Strany in Russian. Strany словарь. One moment. I will Google. It means необычный, непонятный, вызывающий недоумение. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, недоумение. What does it mean? And uh, Странный, I will translate it. Weird is unusual, something un... un I don't know what is. And uh, and affecting inside of you недоумение. Недоумение, it is... One moment. Need to trust, uh, need to see it. Словарь. Недоумение, it is something with uh, not really nice. Yes, 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 yes. Сомнение. Колебание вследствие непонимания, неясности. It means that something that you are kind of... Get one moment, сомнение на английском. I will translate it. Doubt. Making a doubt. Making a doubt. Странный, it is making a doubt inside of you. And doubt sometimes, it is what? <laughs> Let's find out. Doubt. Meaning, a feeling of uncertainty or lack of conviction. And uh, in the same time, I don't feel uncertain about fear, be afraid in archaic version. Doubt, but okay, it is all our meaning. But I love I love positive words. Let's co call it supernatural. Supernatural, it will be nicer. Supernatural, it means lovely because it is nature, and nature is something of God nature. But if God is everything, and everything is God, then nothing in this world is bad. Everything is good. Yes, <laughs> and uh, we believe that we love in it, uh, we in love in it, and it means that everything in our world is good. But in this case, Jesus Christ, I don't want to think about it. I, I'm, I don't want to, to say scared, but I'm scared that uh, if it will be inside of my mind, I have kind of thoughts that if some words will be in my mind, then I can become like this way. But I don't believe it fully, it is kind of guess. It is, uh, world says this, that if you believe in positive, uh, most uh, positive things will happen in your life. And in the same time, I can uh, formulate it in different things. If you think negative, then many negative things can happen in your life <laughs> in the same time. But in this way, if I think that... Uh, everything is good in our world that I think about uh, murderers and killers and uh, then it is kind of nope it is not a really nice thing I, I think so yes it is not nice to kill everybody and uh, to kill someone yes it is not really nice thing but uh, God says that everything is nice but Jesus Christ I don't, I don't want to think so and uh, if we will read the Bible then in the beginning there were said, or in some cases, they were said that it's not nice to kill anyone. And uh, if we will read sa some and other things that uh, it is the same thing. No, ni it, it, it says in Russian version. And I think that it is correct form. Okay, let's go forward. Think positive. Think in dimensional of bringing and creating. Bringing and creating and doing things and uh, going forward. 
So, thank you a lot for watching this video. Be cool, go forward, create your own languages. And if you are interested my, in my progress, then you can write something in comment section. Listen to yourself, prove to yourself. Prove yourself to yourself, okay? And uh, listen to your inner voice. You can do anything. And you know that uh, if you want to play guitar, play it for yourself. And uh, different people will listen to you if you want it. And uh, if you have inner, inner, like you like it and you bring through this value, then someone will listen it. 100%. We have 7 billion people, even 8 billion almost. 7.9. And uh, someone will listen to you. I think so, because this the theory of uh, possibility. Yes, we have kind of 0. 0.0000000 point in uh, minus uh, 9 value or maybe 10 or uh, even lower 0.1% that maybe you will be super mega alone. But I don't think that the uh, university decided to play with you in this game. But it maybe, maybe can happen. <laughs> it's okay. But in the same time, I believe in, uh, in a good and friendly atmosphere and in your life it will be too. See you next time, be cool and go forward. See you next time.